everyone, it's Finnovation. In this video, I'm going to show you how to ride freeline skates. The obvious question is, what are freeline skates, and can you teach a beginner how to ride in just one video? Yes, I can. Freeline skates are the ultimate combination between a skateboard and rollerblades. They're really neat, and you can do awesome tricks with them. But if you stick all the way around to the end of this video, I'll teach anyone, even a beginner, how to ride them. Let's get right into it. All right, so the first thing is if you don't know what free skates look like, they look like this. They, they're basically just a board with two wheels. Now, how you're gonna get on it. First off, if you ride a skateboard um, and you know that you either have a dominant foot, then it's gonna be the same thing for this. So like, you know, if you ride a snowboard, anything like that, go with that. If you don't, that's totally fine. This could be the first thing you'll learn and you'll be okay. So now, how I get on these things is mine have a right and left on them. They can either be on the bottom or the top. So just kind of look around because what side you get is important. And now, so the little deck that's on top of them, it's important that you put your feet right on top of it. So you want an equal spacing between that side and that side. And you also want your foot to kind of be at an angle. So if you get them aligned, your feet should be together and they should be making a V shape. So once you've got that down, um, how I'd recommend getting on these is like this and putting your feet down if you don't have a wall or something like that to hold on to. Um, so now the first thing you're gonna try is just putting a push off the wall and just getting going. So this can be, you're probably gonna look like this, but that's okay. And what you wanna do is just practice the motion of being on free skates. So um, you want your wheels to be aligned. So if I hold them like this, they're aligned, but if I go like that, that's not aligned. So you want your wheels to be like this and you wanna practice just hopping on them Grab it onto like a wall or something. A wall I would 100% recommend or a car, anything like that. And just give yourself a little push. So practice this for maybe I'd say about an hour or more until you feel really comfortable with this. Here are some general tips for when you're learning to glide. First off, you want a slight downhill with a smooth surface. So a driveway would be pretty much perfect with this. Some cracks, they might mess you up. Now the next thing you want is you wanna to remember to keep your wheels aligned because for a lot of people having that V shape feels really awkward. The next thing is how much your knees are bent. You don't want them too bent, but you also don't want them completely straight. So I find uh, myself comfortable about right here, but it's different for everyone. So when you're getting learning to glide, make sure your knees are bent, a smooth surface, and another thing is have a wall or something to push off to or hold on to as you're learning. Now, I'm sorry to interrupt the tutorial, but if you're enjoying this video, please consider subscribing. I post videos every week just like this one on Fridays. All right, the next thing I'm gonna show you is how to propel yourself or get yourself going. So you probably saw me doing it, but what I'm basically doing is making like an S motion with my feet. So my feet go back and forth from like this to like this. So if you've ever ridden a rip stick before, then it's a lot of the same motion actually. So your feet are kind of going from an in position to an out position like this, but at the same time, you're going from here to here. So you're, it's kind of like this. And I'll throw a couple clips on screen right now that you can see. But really the biggest thing is um, at first you start very um, stiff and you know your knees aren't too bent. But as you get a little bit better, and I'm not completely there yet, but as you get better I've seen people, they kind of like twist their feet more and you get a bigger motion as you get your balance better on free skates. So what you're gonna do is hop on them and try doing a little propel. So at first it might look like that, and then you maybe get it a little bit more, and get like that. All right, so now the key to free skates is really just practice. So you get more comfortable as you're going, and just better um, as you keep practicing. So if at first you're not getting it, or you can't go up hills, just keep practicing, and you'll get there eventually, I promise. Free skating is also a great workout and it's also a ton of fun to do. Once you get good at it, it feels really free, hence the name free skates. It looks really satisfying to do, and at first it feels kind of clunky, but once you get it, it's a ton of fun. So I'd recommend trying it out and practicing. Well, that sums up this video. I hope you learned something about free skating. Skating, Finn, that reminds me of a joke. Oh boy. A couple weeks ago, I decided to go out ice skating with some new people. Oh boy. When I decided to break the ice, it didn't go well. Yeah, I guess you can't break the ice at a skate park. Well, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe down below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!